Hello everybody. So I am going to give my final speech on radio host or a radio DJ, if you will, the voices you hear behind the airwaves. Um, you know, as a young kid, I remember watching Coast to Coast or not watching it, but listening to it. And so I kind of grew up listening to radio and Art Bell is one of my favorite people. He's inspirational and he interviewed so many guests and talked about so many things and you know, listening to, you know, even the people come on and talk about the weather and I just something about their voices and their confidence has always kind of struck me as it's very interesting. Um, so a radio host and a DJ, they're the people we hear on the radio. A host is generally somebody who has guests on and they talk about um, multiple topics, while a DJ is somebody who announces the weather, the news, introduces the next song, etc., etc., in their given community. And I interviewed Scott Hansen. He is the morning disc jockey for Radio USA 99.9 .9 in the morning, and he's just seemed like a very inspirational person as well. Um, he works for, hold on, there's a couple, Midwest Communications, and they own like 70 radio stations across all the Midwest. Um, I asked him a couple questions about what, or what was it? I asked him if he always wanted to be a radio host. And he said yes, since he was 12 or 13 years old. And he told me that he would sit outside um, the radio tower and just kind of bother them until they gave him a job, which I thought was kind of funny. And I also asked him what kind of college or educational institution did he go through to be where he was. And that's where that story came up. But he did say to have something to fall back on. So to have a college degree, just in case you do get into communications and you don't really like it. Uh, he did go to Duluth Botech, and it's no longer around. It's Lake Superior Tech. Um, and I asked him, as a host, do you have to be, uh, or like a, a jockey, do you have to be pretty careful about what you say? Is there a specific set of guidelines? And he said, uh, you just pretty much have to use common sense. Like, don't be offensive, don't be rude, you know, and just speak with a clear voice and with confidence. Um, and he's the brand manager and he streams over the internet too, which I thought was, was pretty interesting. Um, he personally reads the weather and introduces the songs on there that'll come on. And I asked him what he thinks, or like if somebody like me who wants to be a radio host what he what his advice was and he said to plan ahead um to really be careful and really think that it, you know like believe that that's what you want to do um and another thing that i thought was kind of interesting is that you know i always thought that you know it's all pre-recorded so you can't call in like it's all like pre-recorded stuff and so like if you make an error or a boo-boo, you know, you can uh, erase that or kind of tape over it. And he said, no, like most of it's live. And I thought that was like, that personally would make me nervous. Um, just knowing like, wow, what if I screwed up or lost my train of thought? You know, I mean, you really have to have confidence. And, you know, he kind of instilled that in me. And this is a quote from him. You need to know a little bit about a lot of stuff, but not everything. So you have to have like a broad platform of all of these different topics and different things and things that you might want to say, you know, because you're going to meet a lot of people, you know, you're going to be working with a lot of people. So always plan ahead is what he said. Um, some of them are voice tracked though. I guess he told he told me that it was because of the cost savings, like it saves money to be able to do do that. I wanted, I always kind of wanted to do a podcast at one point because like I have a lot of ideas and I have a lot of opinions and I'm pretty like pretty strong willed in them. 
Um, the thing that I'm trying to work on personally is just because I get really nervous, like talking in front of a lot of people. And I didn't used to, like back in high school, you know, I mean, I was always the person that would go to the very front and, you know, speak on behalf of everyone. You know, I don't know what happened lately. Maybe it was just like growing up and I don't know, becoming a little reclu reclusive later on in life. I'm much more introverted now than I once was. Um, I just think they're really inspirational people and they have a lot of ideas. And if you can communicate your ideas well, you know, I think that, I mean, you should like be, I, I mean, you should be a, on a podcast or you should be a, a disc, disc jockey or, you know, you should, you know, have those airwaves. And talking to Scott Hansen, you know, he just has one of those voices that, I mean, you would hear from like an anchor man or something like he just seems so, I mean, I keep saying this word, but he just seems so confident. And that's something that I, I want to try and work on because I don't know how my voice will sound over the air. You know, you hear your voice back and you always sound like a completely different person. But, you know, I mean, it's something that I want to pursue at one point at one time and, you know, kind of getting my foot in the door and actually talking to somebody who has done this i think he said it i have a note in here and he's been doing it since 1983 you know and he promotes a lot of local businesses around you know he announces the commercials and talks about them and has some people on there who you know have a local business that he wants to promote and i think that that's just really really good for the community to have you know to be a part of something and watch it grow and you know be the backbone behind it so i mean that's the end of my speech hopefully it was good enough kind of like spur the moment um but thank you and i have very much enjoyed this class and i hope to learn more as life goes on take care